Oh, he's a race guy. I'm mean, racing. Wondering if I'm good. Part in the races. If you've coin for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. All right, all right. I'm, on race. I'm Grand, good at racing. Your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent. Your opponent. Let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. Well, right. Seamus is going to be shameful at the disadvantage. Right. Don't fuck me on the directions, two, okay, game? Three, off you go. Come on, Roach. So he always has a slow start. Always. Out of my way, bitch. Gonna get it up ahead. Actually, white clothes, so this might be a bit tougher. But I will still get through it. Alright, I'm gonna take the opportunity to regain my shit. Do not overtake me, bitch. Not on this day. Say, usually this end straight away. <laughs> it can be gone. Falls gonna be like too bad. Yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Right. Shall I sign you up for another? Uh, is there more that needs to be done? Let me have a little look. See. All right. Yep. Yeah, there's more. Another. Like to. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma, astride Caniculus. The Viscount. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. Oh, uh, you still want to lose like a little bitch? On three, one, two, three, off you go. My roach. Hmm, the line is purple blueish now. Beautiful lighting again. Always beautiful lighting. Bandit can okay the track's a little bit different. Since I'm discovering new places. You will not overtake me, you little bitch. And now I speed up. Boom, boom, boom. Plan works every time. Almost there, Roach. Hear ye, hear ye. Oh, we the yeah. final of the Erasmus Vagal Bud so Memorial fast, Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Roach, glory to the victor. Bravo. Congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? Is there another? I'll try again. Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time, Luke Vagelbart, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet. 
So we'll lose this one. Something of a local champion. He's going to lose. Can I quickly upgrade my shit? Just in case it's better. Fifty stamina. Not the same. How many? Ready? Yeah. Nothing new. Come on, Mochi. Last race. Hmm. Usually I will take you bitches straight up. Is there Whoa, I stopped him right there. Just gonna keep him behind me. Trick, do my trick. Shit, shit. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. And now I move up. Boom, boom, boom. This guy is actually quite close, which is very different. Usually I'm miles away, but I think that dude got interrupted by monsters just then. That's good. Target. Speed up a bit. Oh, baby, come on. I have won once again. Oh yeah. To the victor. More money for me. Fantastic race. Congratulations. A grand victory. Mm-hmm. Is there a land where I would find more of your kind? Geralt of Rivia. Quite right. What do you want? You want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And yeah. Brought you an invitation from the boss. He'd like to congratulate you personally. Fair Trap. One hundred and ten percent. A trap. Run, Wait, we're in the area. Oh, that. You, Rodlick. Henri Rodlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Well, tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Win the race for you. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You are that good a rider? Mm -hmm. Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. Alright. Looks like I'm doing another race. I better fucking be in the race then. Come on. Come on, Mooch. Come on, Mooch. Your stamina is better. But for some reason, it looks like it's draining faster. Ah, oh, shit. Nah.
speed it up. Not so fast, Roach. So damn out. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. Right, right. See you there. Now we turn. Alright, where's the fast travel? Wild hunt to take you all. Sick. Sick of it all. Hello. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. Priscilla picked them. Well, I must admit, you have great taste. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Yes. Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Gladly. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And she say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. Need a drink. <laughs> We're gonna One get wasted, me. aren't we? How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. It's a TV show. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Down the line. She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just Why, making herself mission. gorgeous. Takes time to die. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? She's what? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they oh shit! To Vomerius Hospital. Attack? I wasn't expecting that. She's I don't think I've ever done this mission, so I don't Gout. know what's up. Come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Fuck off, this mission was already done. I'm <laughs> gonna over there. Priscilla, is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. Jesus. Beg your pardon, but you are a relative? R relative? No. Did she lose an eye? Fucking hell. A very close friend. Who the fuck did this? Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly, someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery? Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. 
And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Hmm. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. You got Find it. Him and kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Not too bad. You think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm hmm Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You lead. Oh, it's a cutscene. Fuck off. So, about... Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not bad to hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Oh, nice. Let's do this. Oh, and we got a little bitch hag. Hag. Crazy. So bad that shit. Wait, is he gonna cross one? I have a crossbow too. Wrong weapon. Hey, still did it. I thought I killed him. Oh, damn! I didn't realize I unlocked a hold. It's gone as hack. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? Take the ladder. Yep. Going up the ladder, huh? This is the place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Let's get some light in. Yeah, yeah. The corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Looks like okay. Necrophage has got to this one. Hmm. Here he is. Human. Wrong body type. Let's keep looking. He does look like a human, I agree. Lots of drinks. This isn't it. Oh, hello there. You didn't say anything, so I don't know if that's good, bad. Damn, it's not what we're after. There was another door there. Hold there. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a bit. Hell no. Start the autopsy. A witcher. Where? Blood every day. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see his in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. 
Right. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Mm, but why? The wound is too small to bleed. And there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy. So the victim wouldn't die too soon. Right. His mouth. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. Genesis. <laughs> His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation uh -huh. to the matter. See? <laughs> we'll see. We need to know. Pull down his trousers. I'm thorough. Shit. <laughs> Syphilis. He packing? Actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. I guess he wasn't packing then. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't uh -huh. strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies. We surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. Also, let's examine his torso. You know everything. What have we here? What else? Deep for us to assault this. this cage and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah. Heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. What have we got? An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Salamander? Scorched but intact. I dealt with many of them in her pathology my day. As a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Hmm. It's a scar. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Right oh, right oh. Hands. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through. Well, maybe he was doing role play. Speaking from experience. Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. That's all we need to know. All right. I think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Fuck. I, I actually have to know. Um. It's some kind of sick ritual. I'm thinking ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets. Cavity where the heart should be. Scalding liquid. All centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. What a fucking. And you? I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student, lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. 
Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Right oh. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. You didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case, I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. I do, I do. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. I do, I do. So eager. That one's Radovid. Oh. Rid the place of bandits. Good place to head off to. Jesus. Can't go out in the streets, no more. Oh, Lydia, Clark. Mr. Barber didn't lose to kill Wilson's love. You, Eustace, the corpse collector. I? Eustace. You useless. <laughs> oh, I hate that name. I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no uh, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets, <laughs> made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. <laughs> Let's see what I'd advise you not to anger me, or you'll get an inside tour of the crematory. Touch me, the guards will be hiding your ass for you can't free. To save a little shit like you? Doubt it. Those clever lads, more cleverer than you. They know Eustace, know they want me on their side. Cause you'll all die one day, and then I'll decide where your body winds up. A grave, the crematorium, or elsewhere. Okay, it's, it's a bit tough. Fuck. Then I'll have a coin. Fine, have some. Now talk. What did you find on him? Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. What the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. I'm gonna hit him. He's a bitch. Oh, jeez. I'm not to that sound. Fucking hell. What was that for? For everything. <laughs> that was a good hit. No point complaining. Fire. Father of all. Here, my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come here. 
hero, give us a kiss. Awful pile. Hey, handsome. Oh. Hmm. We got a brazier this time of year. Human. Priscilla's. She lost that much blood. Grab him! Sis. That him. Oh, my to know. Watch him, see what he does. Slow to the break! Well, how hmm. long are you gonna make me wait? Why why do you want to fight? What did I do to you guys? Did I fuck your wives or something? You got me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant! Holes can fight back! Uh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. Hmm. I'm back to work in street court. Whistling Sorry, Wendy, I remember the name. You can do worse as well. number two, I think. Also, I tell myself, if we sleep together. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Righto. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. No. Oh, my head's ringing. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. So smell leading absolutely fucking nowhere. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Wait on his heel. And we see that little Look door thing. Is a secret fucking door? Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Oh, no, I see the fucking foot. This way. What space is going? Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Okay, now the. Got me to go here. It's easy. Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Ah. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Brilliant. Tracing gorillas round the Kedwini woods. No regrets. Look awfully suspicious to me, tramp. The map fucking told me to go around this area. Okay, the map's being a bitch. Got it, got it. Oh no. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll set me hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's all together, definitely. Set your stupid much lay down. Brother, Gus is the name. We're in a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Please. Mm. That's a dog. Just Meyer. Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a bear for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? A 
can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. I had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. I saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. I thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered around the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. In Novigrad, folk give bleak orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They care about some dwarf. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. You need those tools, to man. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Dogs love me. I Fuck. Well, I'm trying to investigate, but you're still Fine. in the way. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. You walk, bitch. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Highlight him, I want me to do anything. Murderer dragged something heavy statues or a corpse. Oh, it has blood. Well, that's just a bit light thing on the witcher senses. <laughs> inside the workshop. I've not even peeked inside since then. since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. What we got? Blood. Oh, fuck hey. off! But why are you always in the way? Hey, my guest. Trying to fucking investigate your brother's bloody murder. More you just keep getting in the way. But not near enough to say he bled to death. From outside. Yes. Doubt Fabian used it. Furniture. Case solved. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. All right, I'm done here. Welcome, Master Witcher. Howdy there. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Oh, I know. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. What's the name? Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Oh dear. What? I don't know, I was thinking. I'm coming. Till next time. Rouch! 
We gotta go. Roach, hurry the fuck up. I can't stop, Roach. You gotta catch up to me. Roach. Roach. Okay. I have an idea who this is. So, yeah. We were at the party here not too long ago. Excuse me, sir. I need to get through. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can. Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? <laughs> now I can easily assassinate her. My plan all along. Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is. Just in case. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Oh yeah, I am very serious. Ma want your mama to live. A Lead me to it. for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned your mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. Um, your mother's in danger. Keep fucking moving. Mother had seen Why are we bloody sprinting? She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. And she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should already go dead. In, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Hey, let's see. Oh, what the fuck? There's yeah, some weird shit. The hounds? Is that the fucking dwarf guy? Did he kill his brother? Okay. Spread out! Murder is still here! Was that him? He looked a bit taller. There he is! Get him! Wait, what? Are you guys retarded? I don't know where he went. I don't know where to go now. Die, Stupid assholes. I came here for the front gate. Do I have to kill him or some shit? I'm trying to be good here. Stupid bitches. Yeah. Halt! Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. <laughs> we got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of Bitch. my sight at once. Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire. Only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. 
please. She will. You have my word. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Here we are. Get away day. this time. Um, that's it. I thought it would be like a little bit more of an investigation. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Got to get to crippled Kate's fast. I will find them. I will. Oh. Oh. Baffle. I have been here myself. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. That's exactly what I gotta do. Okay, the next floor. I had some. No one will hear you, Please. bitch. Not a soul. You though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturbed me. Ah, oh, it's this dude. Like being disturbed. What the fuck? I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. Fuck, you're a crazy bitch. Achievable with whores in a lot of ways. Many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing. I'm gonna now. kill this son, son of a bitch. You about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <laughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Are you still fucking doing this? This Jake? I want to chop you in there. Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy. That you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Is that dude? Go. But to warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Yeah. Then you'll pay again. For her, for all the other women you've tortured. Whoa. I had a sword, I would have been able to actually chop him up. Oh, right, you're free. You're free now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. He asked if I did everything, and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me so hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. I had to kill him. Needed to be done. Oh, there it is. Uh, nope, I am... 
Oh, where the fuck's the exit? Uh, there. Too much tribute these days. Blimey. No, no. I'm coming in. Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Steel. Who, what are you? A vampire? Higher, oh, you are? Of course. Okay, maybe I will bring up my uh, silver. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism is rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat. Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice. You're a sick fuck. I never expected you to understand. You're a cynic and an opportunist. I sensed it from the start. Ah, well. This conversation has grown unpleasant for both parties. We must move to the next item. We shall. I last fought a witcher two centuries ago. I do hope I remember how it's done. And you? Have you faced one of us? No, you couldn't have. You would not have survived. Are you sure about that, bitch? If you're that thing, yes, I have killed one of you. Ow. Sword, thank you. Uh, that's it. Yeah. How's better? Right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The Witcher's way. Thank you. The way of the Witcher. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Roger, roger. Mission complete.